What's up guys? We are doing today a freaking drink till you're blind taste test between Proper 12 and Jameson Whiskey. It's been a long time coming. Yes. Worked on this for way too long now. I mean, we've been trying to get Proper Whiskey <sighs> since it came out. Yeah. And nowhere had it, dude. It has finally reached Dixon, Tennessee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The sticks have received. Even in Nashville, like he's called, like I've called. Yeah. We've we've been to different liquor stores all over and just mm -hmm. couldn't find it. So I don't think it's been in Tennessee. Yeah. Since and, like a couple weeks ago, maybe. Yeah. Or oh. even just this week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know, man. The people just got a case in. So like, but you know, I called around a lot of places in Nashville. Everybody was like, "Yeah, we got like six bottles a few months ago and haven't been able to get anything since." So I think they had like a manufacturing problem where they didn't have enough supply. For everybody, Conor McGregor ran out of piss. Yeah, he ran out of piss. This is my piss. He pisses proper twelve. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But yes. So what we're gonna do? Chris is gonna pour some into my cups. I'm gonna pour some into his cups, and he's not gonna know which one I did. You guys are gonna be able to see it, and we're gonna tell you guys which one we feel like taste better. So we're doing a blind taste test. Proper twelve versus Jameson. Yes. It's a bold statement, Connor, to say that your stuff's going to be better than Jameson, right? It, I mean, it but, really is. I've had Jameson before, and Jameson, is, I mean, it is a brand, so it's more expensive. Yeah. But it it lives up to, to how expensive it is, in, in my yeah. opinion, because it's, it's pretty dang good whiskey. I mean, Jameson and ginger ale is <laughs> they, pretty, yep. pretty damn good. And to, like, insane the pricing, these two actually cost the same, but you get twice as much in this. It's like oh, 25 wow. bucks, dude. Not bad at all. Oh, so the, uh, it's the same as the smaller bottle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, I get it. So, I mean, Proper 12 is a little less expensive than some of the Jameson. I mean, you can buy some probably gut Jameson, you know, but I don't know. I figured if we're going to go comparing apples to apples here, let's I mean, do it. We should open it now because yes. the, the cork will give it away of which one we're pouring. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's true. So <laughs> It's like bloop. All right, I know which one that one is. I mean, it smells like Irish whiskey. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, it does. All right, man. So, without further ado, how do you want to do this? You guys got to see what we're doing. So, <clears throat> I guess you want to... All right, here we go. You want to go first? Yeah, um, or you want me to pour yours first? Either one. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Whoever loses goes first. Whoever loses drinks first. Drink. Well, I figured we were going to drink them like sort of around the same time. Yes. All right. I don't know. Do I don't, we didn't discuss this properly. Right. It's just. <laughs> yeah. We're just playing it by ear. We were just really freaking stoked about it. I mean, I'm stoked to drink some proper 12. <laughs> right. And he hasn't even ate all day today. And I have ate like crackers. So. Intermittent fasting people. Yes. We'll talk about that. It'll be another whole long episode. It helps you get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but all right, man. You look that way. I'm going to pour yours in there. Okay. And then, and then, and then I'll tell you when you turn back, scoot back over. All yeah, right. yeah. All right. Got to look over that way. Table leg. All right. You can't see me, can you? No. All right. <laughs> there is no mirror on this wall. <laughs> We're doing heavy shots here. Okay. <laughs> Thick shots. <laughs> We don't want to cheat either, because like I'm actually really interested in this blind test. Me too. I mean, for scientific reasons. <clears throat> yeah. Just a small shot <laughs> of whiskey. It's like that. Uh, okay. Are you done? You're done. All right. All right. I'm it's like that. It it's like that meme of the uh, uh, lady that's like two shots of vodka, <laughs> and she's like, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Do, do, do. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. All right. So I feel like we should do this taste test correctly. All right, it's done. It's done. Yes. You're way quicker at pouring stuff than me. <sighs> I feel like the best way to do this, right? Well, I am kind of Irish, so. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I got the pouring skills down. This would. Freaking up to here before we did it, and really? now it's down to there. So these cups are wider than <laughs> than we know. All right, and this proper twelve is totally full. So <laughs> the best way I feel like we could do this, okay? Maybe just taste them both first, yeah, and then shoot them. 
So do a taste of it, and then we'll talk about it, and then we'll see which one shoots better. Because, you know, if you're taking a shot of whiskey, which one's gonna be smoother, you know? Do you remember which one is which? Yes. 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 You guys remember. Okay. <coughs> All right. Do you remember? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. I guess you can go first, because if we go at the same time... Then we're going to be like, yeah. Yeah. okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to go with this one, Olin Rogers Cup. That's pretty good. That's pretty good stuff. But I think I know what that is. Maybe. Maybe I don't. Because I've never had this. <clears throat> Gotta... <laughs> uh, okay. Nondescript black cup. <clears throat> hmm. All right. I don't know which one I like better. Are they pretty close? Yeah, but I'll tell you this. Like that one kind of has like almost like a vanilla -y taste. It almost tastes like vanilla kind of in there a little bit. I think that's a good a good key to Irish whiskey. Mm -hmm. You have those hints, those little notes. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, I think I know which one I like better. You go. Alright. <clears throat> have you seen that, uh, have you seen that the dude, the news anger guy who, like, took the shot? Of, oh, like, God. Probably, like, pee and he was like, ah! Ah! <laughs> Who does that? I was upset yeah, when I on, saw that because I was like, TV. that's freaking, it, this is the New Year's and you want to bring it in like You're that? You're going to start it off like a bitch? <laughs> on, dude. Ugh, that's what happened, man. <clears throat> what the f All right. Oh, you're good. All right. This Next one, I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. Right? It's kind of got that taste. Cool. Oh, wow. Actually, I know I don't know. Now right? that I tasted the yeah. other one, yep. it's pretty. It's pretty dang similar. I know there's like a, a distinct little difference in this one. Yeah. That this one doesn't have. Uh huh. I was tasting like some like this one tastes a little bit like not necessarily sweeter, but it's got like a vanilla kind of flavoring. Like this one has a stronger vanilla flavor. This one, I'm gonna taste it again. Yeah, more like. Like, you can really taste the alcohol with this. This one seems a little bit, like, softer. Okay. So, can you guess which one's which? I'm going to think this is Jameson. Wrong. Wrong? Yeah. No shit! That's proper. That's Jameson. Really? Yeah. So, I like Jameson better. I'm a Jameson fan, then. What are you thinking? Which one are you liking better? I feel like that's proper. That is proper! And that's Jameson. Yes! Damn it! You're good. <laughs> Nicely done. So, dude, Irish. which one do you like better, though? actually liked this one a little bit better. better i mean yeah god I, I hate to say that because i love conor mcgregor and i'm so glad you know yeah i'm happy about proper 12 but i mean just going from a straight whiskey sipping mm -hmm. jameson's got it jameson's got but it dude. only by a slight amount it's mm -hmm. just that little hint that you were talking about the the little note yeah, a little of, bit of like of sweetness like a, yeah yeah that's in there that's good for sipping yeah and I mean, shooting, I mean, it don't matter. Yeah, yeah, either one's gonna be good. But I definitely think the proper 12 has like, this one was proper 12? Yes. I mean, it's so close that you will end up getting more bang for your buck. And you won't yeah. you won't really miss it that much. I mean, especially mm -hmm. once you get to drinking it. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah. You're if not... you get down to here by yourself, <laughs> you're probably not gonna care what the rest of it tastes like too much, you know? Yeah. So I nailed it. Yes. Dude, nicely and done. I, I, I was way off. I was I noticed that the proper is a, a lot more of a different color, I believe. I couldn't really I can't fully, tell, yeah, either. I couldn't I was fully tell, but that. I was like, this looks really kind of orangish. Yeah. Yeah, and the freaking green bottle kind of like... Yeah, really it disguises the... Uh, yeah. It's so, got to be green, though. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if but they dude, came out with the, with the brown bottle or... <laughs> like, people would just... Wait, what? Rakes in over Irish the coals, whiskey. you know? Yeah. But dude, so, <clears throat> I feel like Jameson might have won this blind taste test. I think it did. Damn it, Proper 12. I, I honestly wanted Proper to beat it. Me too, it. I me was, too. I, was, I wanted a, a new contender, yeah, a new man. champion, you know? Yeah. 
But it's so close. Yeah. It's very close. And like, I don't hate on Proper 12. It's, yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah. It's just not as good as yeah. Jameson. Mm-hmm. That was wild, man. I really thought that I was, like, calling it backwards. I thought I was like, yeah, I, I like thought you had it better. I when you when you said that, but then you said that you, you yeah. said that, and I was like, dang. That stupid <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> when you said the hint of vanilla, though, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Jameson. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I, but, yep, yeah, there you go. There you have it. Freaking Jameson won this blind taste test. But, Connor's freaking doing a lot of other cool shit. All right. And, uh, yes, he has his own suit company. Yeah. I mean, Proper 12, like, people are buying it just because he's making it. Yeah, exactly. So he's making money no matter what. Mm -hmm. He is, like, seriously one of the best businessmen of this century right now, especially in MMA. Yeah, best business in MMA, <clears throat> hands down, dude. I best mean, fighter that has ever been as far as entrepreneur and fighter, you know? That's what a lot of fighters don't understand. Mm -hmm. They want to fight to make money. Yeah. Well, I mean, the company you work for is just money grabbing whores. Yeah, dude. No, I mean, I love yeah. the UFC and I love MMA and fighting, but the company is at the just end of the day, that's what they mean. Yeah, yeah. So they're not going to pay you what you want. Mm -hmm. So you got to do something. Yeah. To make that extra buck. Yeah. I mean, like, you've got other fighters out there doing, like, small stuff. Like, TJ Dillashaw has, uh, like, a spice. I can't remember what it's called. It's like Uncle Something Spice company yeah i saw that i can't remember what it is i mean is. that's pretty cool small stuff like that and then they a lot of fighters own their own gyms and stuff so they're making mm -hmm. money on that level michael but dude, chandler like, yeah michael chandler's got in that nashville? one in nashville hell yeah michael chandler look get on our podcast <laughs> seriously yeah like, look him up he is like as far as like athleticism yeah, and physical dude, that guy strength is a freaking monster he is insane mm -hmm. joe rogan just mentioned him the other day how he follows his Instagram. Mm -hmm. I follow his Instagram. Yeah, me too. And he always puts workout videos yeah. on there. And he was doing backflip medicine ball I saw plans. that, dude. He makes me feel like I work out a lot. Like, daily <laughs> I work out hours. And, uh, I don't know, man. He makes me feel like I don't do anything. I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. Tone it down for the rest of us, man. But He is a beast. And yeah. I really believe that he is one of the best pound-for-pound fighters in the world yeah especially lightweight mm -hmm. he's got to be top three he, the way he won back his belt like i wish that it would have been a more just dominant performance i think he was wanting that too but like dude caught him yeah with a good yeah he did a punch a mm -hmm. good punch and dropped him and hurt him mm -hmm. and i think he was like all right rethinking my strategy and went to the yeah. wrestling which he's uh, phenomenal at yeah and, and i'm i mean you gotta that, adapt, you yeah. Yeah, I think that <laughs> happens to a lot of fighters. Like a lot of people will call their punches, and that's good for some people. Like Connor actually made his, you know, career on calling Mystic, his punches. I mean, Mystic Mac. That's yeah. how he got that nickname. Yeah, he so, called like, him. He called his punches. <clears throat> and a lot of a lot of fighters, you know, that's not always the case. It's not always a good thing for you to do so. And like Connor, you know, in his more recent fights, has been calling punches. And it's been given away his game plan. You mm -hmm. know, I think a lot of people just didn't know what to know what to make heads of it whenever he first was doing it. But now that it's like the model, and now that people are really like trying to get you emotionally invested in this fight, so where you do go all out mm -hmm. and leaves you vulnerable and open, I think that's a, a big thing. And like for, uh, I don't know, I've said him twice now, T.J. Dillashaw with that Henry Cerruto fight, man. Like he, uh, I just feel like. He kind of called his punches on that one. Mm -hmm. Henry Cerruto, like, dude thought that Henry Cerruto was going to go in and just grapple with him the mm -hmm. whole time. Cerruto dropped him, caught him, and then just took advantage <clears throat> of it, you know? Yeah. I mean, so who, I don't like Cerruto. I don't either. One bit. No, I really fingers. don't like him. Yeah. He is just a grade A, like, meathead. Mm -hmm. Like, straight from the gym locker rooms. Yeah. Makes fun of people who don't work out kind of guy. Yeah. And, like... He has, but he does have that wrestling strength mm -hmm. that trans translates into his punches that yeah. a lot of people underestimate. Yeah. And it's there with everybody. Daniel Cormier, mm -hmm. freaking Olympic wrestler, God, dude, Cormier. but yeah. has power in his mm -hmm. strikes just from that wrestling background. Yeah. And a lot of people underestimate it. Yeah. The dude, I totally agree. <clears throat> but, uh... Oh, another thing about that fight. I don't mm -hmm. agree with it. I think I that either. needs to be yeah. said. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, it was just, quick stoppage. Yeah, it was just like Dana White said. It's a, a double belt championship mega fight. You let that shit let go him to fight. The freaking yeah, let it go I to mean, the ground. And they trained and like.
killed their bodies for this. Yeah. The least you can do is let them go. Yeah. And he had an underhook. Like, he was he was getting, like, he was yeah. in a defensive move. And that, for me, was, like, the biggest thing. Like, they called it really quick. And I was thinking this. And I was like, no, you're just making excuses for him because I really wanted TJ to win that fight. Mm-hmm. Like, I really wanted him to win that fight. But I was thinking this, and I was like, nah just making excuses but that ref was right in his freaking way i mean like up in their business Mm -hmm. just trying to find something and i was like something's not right with this but uh tj actually said it that's one of his first big ever refing jobs it was their first fight on espn plus double title i mean it's huge watch so the ref was inexperienced yeah very inexperienced Mm -hmm. and very overwhelmed with the pressure of the fight so like it showed and also, how many times has TJ Dillashaw gotten dropped yeah. and came back and won the fight? Case like, in point, it, first Cody Garbrandt fight. More than two times, at yeah. least. He's first done Cody Garbrandt fight, like, he got dropped and everybody's like, you're lucky you made it, but then he came back and knocked yeah. him the fuck out. Yeah. So, yeah, dude, I definitely feel like that was an early stoppage, and I would love to see them fight again at 125, because I feel like TJ could definitely <clears throat> win that fight at 125, hopefully, and then he could move up and wait and fight at one. What is that, 145? Yeah. So you can fight at 145 and then... Honestly, what I really want to see is um, Dominic Cruz and TJ Dillashaw rematch mm-hmm. at some point. Do you, I heard <clears throat> Dominic Cruz got pulled from a fight or he, he pulled himself from a fight. Um, they had he kind might of, have. Yeah. I, he, I don't know what's going on with his training. He's been plagued with injury like, yeah. his whole career. Yeah. But, I mean, it's never really slowed him down. I mean, he's been out for extended periods, but he comes mm-hmm. back with no ring rust. Yeah, He's yeah. just magical or mm-hmm. something. But, yes. So, man, all right. Really quick. Do you have any funny, funny drunken stories, like, while we're here? Since we're already here. I've got I've got one I could start it off while you're yeah. thinking about. Yeah, I mean, I, like the reason it's taken me so long is because there's so many to pull from the file. Yeah. From the the files of. <laughs> Dude, I've got a gross one, but really funny one. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't know why I did this. I was intoxicated. I mean, if if we're talking about gross, there's that one at the freaking uh, Das Boot where I drank. <laughs> oh yes. All right, that one. So. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Here we go. I'm going to start one off really quick, and then you're going to sell that one, okay? okay? So. I wasn't even drunk, though. That's the funny thing. Or the gross thing. Oh, <laughs> Ugh. This is bad. This is very bad. I'm a badder. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so here we go. All right. We were, this is a few <clears throat> years back. My late friend, Derek Williams. Haven't seen him in a while. But uh, he, uh, we went to the bowling alley, right? We were in bowling, and uh, dude, both of us, like, we've been drinking the whole way up there, right? So we both, like, as soon as we get there, we're like, gotta go to the bathroom, man. Gotta go find the pitcher. So we both go to the bathroom. So, like, we're both in different stalls. And, uh, dude, he freaking, his foot, for some reason, like, he thought it was funny, but he kept putting his foot in the stall that I'm pissing in. So I'm, like, peeing his foot just, like, out there in, like, his entire shoe. And I was like, all right, dude, I'm just gonna pee on this guy's shoe. <laughs> I freaking filled his whole freaking shoe with pee man i just peed on his shoe and i'm like what is he doing he hasn't moved his, he hasn't moved his foot weems what are you doing no nothing he didn't even freaking know he was so drunk he didn't know he had oh a my God. freaking boot full of piss and just walked around the whole time it was <laughs> it's so bad i mean that sounds like him though he he kind of he was kind of a numb nuts he was like he in was. the head yeah all right, you got your story, man. Go for it. And I'm going to eat this cheese ball. Oh, God. You want me to tell the uh, the Doss Boot story? That was a pretty good one. <laughs> I feel like we've told that on here before, but I really can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we have or not. It was a good uh, one, though. I know only but a goodie. Yeah, okay. So, anyways, um, I think it was one of um, our mutual friends was having, like, a... Uh, birthday party at this <laughs> bar in Dixon called, so bad. called Das Boot. I mean, like, the name gives it away. Yeah, the how, name is like... It was, how, <laughs> how run down it dude, yes, probably was. This bar was just like... <clears throat> it was, but it was basically, um, what did they... What kind of party did they call it? It was like a slip, like... Oh, a paparazzi party, right? Because, like, 
It was like celebrities dress up like yeah, a celebrity. like a paparazzi party or mm-hmm. something like that. We didn't dress up. Every, we went as ourselves. Yeah, you're really supposed like to dress up. But basically, like, if you didn't dress up, they gave you a name tag that said paparazzi, and you had to wear a fake mustache. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which was fun because it looked kind of. It actually worked for me yeah. and and him as well. Mm-hmm. I think it blended in. I think I had a beard at the time. Did I have a beard? Oh, I, I don't, don't remember. I normally have beards. I, that might have been pre-beard time. Might have been. Yeah. Before I got on beaver tranquilizer. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, like, we, we're in this bar and everything, and, like, um, I had a couple drinks. I don't know if John had any drinks or not. Mm-mm. But I had a couple drinks, and, like, um, anyways, the they it was catered by, like, I think Pizza Hut, maybe? I think it was, yeah. It was, like, Pizza Hut or Domino's <clears throat> or something. Either one of those, but um, they brought the pizzas in, and then they also brought, like, packets of the red pepper flakes. Yeah, yeah. And, like, we always just, anytime anything is, like, could be competitive, we're always like, (laughs) dude, man, we just make it a competition. Mm -hmm. So, I can't remember who actually brought it up, but we were like, alright, bet I can eat more of these, or put more of these in my mouth than you. Were we putting it in our mouth or putting it in our pizza? I can't remember what happened. We, there. I'm pretty sure we just, just put straight it, in the mouth. Yeah, like okay. we took three packets. Okay, so we took three packets of these red red peppers and we put them in our hand. Yeah, yeah, that's what <laughs> each it was. three packets mm-hmm. each. And we had our friend Andrew stand there and time us. Freaking Andrew Hall at the bar. Uh huh. I had a couple drinks in me, but I, w- I was maybe but I, w- I had a little buzz. I, I wasn't really like drunk. Yeah. But so he was like, "All right, go," and then we just put them in our mouth, and we're sitting there. And we're like watching each other, you yeah, know, because waiting to see what happens. Like, all right. So, really quick story about myself: I have panic attacks quite often, and in the middle of having these peppers in my mouth, I'm like getting panicky. I'm like, "You're gonna puke! You're gonna <laughs> freaking puke right here in public! Everybody's gonna see you puke! You're fucking freak!" Go on. And okay, so basically, we're watching each other, and we have these peppers in our mouth, <laughs> and like. Eventually, John kind of is like, ah, and he like, he, I, all I do, all I know is I just see him turn around, and just to prove a point, I chew mine up and swallow him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because yeah. like when it comes to com- the coffee. when it comes to competition, <laughs> like I freaking I, I go balls to the wall yeah, it when it comes good. to competition. <laughs> so like I chew mine up and swallow him, and I'm like, and I'm like I win the contest or whatever. Yeah. Uh, turn around to grab my drink. You won the battle. <laughs> <laughs> but the war. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I turn around to grab my drinks on the bar. I turn around to grab my drink, and I just you know take a drink without Ugh. like thinking about it. It's kind of gross. I know now thinking back. But to it, I'm like, I, I turn around and I just take a drink without thinking about it because my you know I had my drink on the bar, so it's just normal to do. Yeah. And when I put it up and drank some, it, I mean it was dark in the bar, so I I was like it was kind of I was like it's kind of warm. <laughs> it's kind of warm and chewy. And then I was like I put it down and I didn't think anything yeah. else about it and uh i got another drink and you know that that was all that i knew about it <laughs> i don't know that you didn't know i don't know what happened but that was not his drink no solely um i don't even know if it was that night that i found out i'm pretty sure it was like know. months later <laughs> Holy crap. that we that we had talked about it and i was like wait what <laughs> oh god <laughs> but <laughs> Basically, like, however long later it was after that, we were talking about it, and yeah. John, uh, like, mentioned that, or we were telling the story to someone, yeah. and he, he said that he reached over towards the bar and, like, what did just, you do, like? I just grabbed the cup, because I was, like, having a <clears throat> panic attack, and I was like, ha, ah, ah. ha, so I grabbed the drink off the bar and, like, blah, and then put it back on the bar, and I thought it was my cup, so I don't know. And, and then that cup. was the cup that I grabbed. <laughs> that cup that uh, he vomited in yeah. and left on the bar because it was my cup. And when we were telling the story, I was like, wait, you what? You did what? I was wait, like, so and I drank some of it? Yeah. And you? I didn't throw up? <laughs> yeah. But you Guts did? Guts of steel. <laughs> Dude, what, uh, what were you drinking that night? Do you remember? Honestly, it might have been Jameson and ginger ale. Maybe it was Jameson and ginger ale and puke. But, but yeah, I mean, funny story. 
looking back on it, if yeah. I would have known, I probably would have thrown up. Yeah. But I didn't know until later, so yeah. it was fine. Dude, it was... I didn't know that you didn't know. Maybe I just was like, he totally has to know. I don't but know. But yes. Um, Brutal I story. do have a, a gut of steel. Like, I can... Yeah. I, I'm pretty strong when it comes to holding stuff down, but, I mean, if I would have known, it wouldn't have stayed down, probably. <laughs> no way. Either that or just add more of it, you just would have like... Ah! And just drink it. And then, not to mention, after that, we did karaoke. Yeah. And we sung the thong song. That was good. As Robert Goulet. Robert Goulet's thong <laughs> song. That was a good night. Fun song. And I'm pretty sure that video is on YouTube somewhere. It better be. If you're going to even find it. Yeah, I don't know how you would find two random guys singing Robert Goulet's thong song. Hopefully it's on there. <laughs> if it's on there, send it to us. Yes, because I want to see that yeah. again. That's yeah, the, yeah. that's the old days. I mean, that was like, God, like seven or eight. It was a while ago. Yeah, it was a while, while ago. ago. <laughs> Good times. So back to the drunk taste test. <clears throat> Here we go. Jameson won. <laughs> that's all I got. Jameson yeah. won, but proper twelve is a close second. I mean, yeah. It has everything that Jameson has except that one little hint. Yeah. Of sweetness that defines yeah. Jameson, I believe. Yeah, it's I a agree. it's a definitive hint of like vanilla that defines yeah, Jameson. Yeah, sure. And that's the only thing that Proper Twelve doesn't have compared to Jameson. But for the price, it's a steal. Boom. Yeah, yeah, no joke. It's a steal. Twenty five. But all right, man. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've already uh, told my uh, life story, story with the, the vomiting in the cup. <laughs> nice. But all right, we'll catch up. Like, <laughs> uh, after I tell rough. the story, it just reminds me of freaking uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade whenever the dude, like, <laughs> grabs the cup and he drinks out of it. <laughs> and, and he's like, <laughs> and he, like, his hair comes out. And oh, then shit. the dude is like, you chose poorly. <laughs> Uh, At the time, I thought I chose wisely, <laughs> but looking but back, looking I'm back. like, oh god, it's rough. <laughs> Neither one of us have ate today, by the way, so, well, uh, rough. Yes. Nice. Well, yes, we'll catch you guys later, and, uh, yeah. Man, we're going to bring these back. We're going to do a St. Patrick's Day um, podcast with Drunk Mikey, and he's going to recall the tale of St. Patrick, so. Yeah, he's going to give us the entire story. <laughs> Drunken. And it the would be pretty fun. True story. Yeah. Of St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Day. Yes. We're all gonna bleed green for yeah. the for the night. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. Well, we're just gonna get into a huge bar fight. <laughs> yeah. And by the end of the podcast. Mm. <laughs> There's gonna be blood. It'll be good. <laughs> but alright guys, well, we will catch y'all later. Thank you guys, and as always, subscribe, like, share this video, whatever. Proper twelve. Love you, but Jameson won this one. Peace. Later.